Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you know, machine learning or otherwise known as artificial intelligence has been creating a lot of buzz lately, especially in the photo and video editing space. And as a portrait photographer shooting in the studio, I constantly need to retouch skin and clean the background, and they can be time consuming. In this video, I will show you a software that uses AI to edit photos, specifically editing portraits. It's called Retouch for Me. I'm pretty sure you've heard about it. By the way, this is not an in-depth tutorial, but more of an overview on how the plugin works. For full, in-depth tutorials, I'll post a few links down in the video description for you to watch. So Retouch for Me can be used as a standalone or a Photoshop plugin. For now, let's use it in Photoshop. And as for my portrait editing workflow, the first thing I do is remove the distracting blemishes and dark spots. For that purpose, I normally use the spot healing tool, but today, we will be using the Retouch for Me Heal plugin. So let me reset this image. Then press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. And then we go to Filter, Retouch for Me, Heal. So this is the before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. It quickly and automatically removes the blemishes. We can move the sensitivity slider right here to target the spots you want to remove. But for me, I just leave it at 100. Then once we are satisfied, click the Make Mask button right here, and then click Apply. That's how convenient this plugin is in removing skin blemishes. It's really a time saver, and it created a separate layer so you can fine-tune the effect to your liking. After removing the blemishes, the next part of my editing workflow is skin smoothing and skin tone unifying. Again. Manually doing these techniques takes a lot of time. Let's see if the Retouch for Me Dodge and Burn plugin will be a better alternative. First, we create a merge layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift and the letter E. Then we go to Filter, Retouch for Me, Dodge and Burn. We can click the preview button to see the mask. Then we can move the blend slider to adjust the effect to our preference. Let's bring it down to 140. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Okay, once we're happy with the effect, Click the soft light layer option right here, and then click apply. Then we change the blend mode from normal to soft light. And we're done retouching the image. Let's group these two layers together. This is the original image. And this is with the Retouch For Me plugins. Let's zoom in. This is the original image. This is with Retouch For Me plugin. It's pretty amazing, right? Another part of my photo editing workflow, especially for full body images, is cleaning the backdrop. This process can also be very tedious. Let's see if Retouch For Me Clean Backdrop plugin can help us save some time. Again, we duplicate the image by pressing Ctrl J. Then go to Filter, Retouch For Me, Clean Backdrop. Again, we can click on the preview button to check the targeted areas. And adjust the blend slider to increase or decrease the area or parts of the image that need cleaning. Lower blend values means less areas cleaned, so I believe the default 100 is the preferred way to go. We can also enable auto mask to protect the subject from being selected, but for me, I leave it disabled. 
since we can always add a layer mask to hide or show the effect afterwards. Let's zoom in to do some final checks. And once we're okay with it, click the Make Mask option, and then click Apply. And that's it! We've successfully cleaned the backdrop. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Cleaning solid backdrops has never been this quick and easy. Okay, so moving on, Retouch for me has a new plugin called Color Match, wherein you can extract colors from any image and apply them to your photos. It's my first time trying this plugin, so walk along with me. So I open the standalone software right here, then let's select an image. Let's use this one. Then I believe we have to click load reference here on the top right. Then we select the image that we want to copy the color grading. And that's it! It automatically copied the color grading of the reference photo. So it's really that fast and easy. And then we can adjust the intensity of the effect just by moving the blend slider to the right or to the left. But for this image, I think 100 is the sweet spot. Back here on the right side, there is a panel where we can manually tweak the color grading to our preference. We can adjust the luminance, color, and smoothing. Now let's see what this export LUT does. Okay, so once you have copied the color grading from the reference image, you can actually save this as a LUT file, so you can apply it on other images. Kinda like saving it as your own preset, basically. That's cool. So let's try opening the same image and apply the LUT we just saved. Let's delete the reference photo. Then click on the LUT manager. Then browse to the local folder where we saved the LUT. And that's it! It applied the LUT we saved earlier. So this plugin is very intuitive and easy to use really. You can also purchase LUTs online if you want to. They have a LUT store, and there are literally hundreds of options to choose from. Let's try this Zoran Cinematic Pack right here. Then obviously this is a paid LUT, so let's use the free LUT right here. I think it applied the LUT on top of the first one, so let's delete the reference photo. Okay, so now it only applied the Zoran LUT that we selected earlier. So we have the option to either use the reference image panel, or the LUT panel, or we can even combine both. The one thing I really like about Retouch for me is that you can do batch editing. So if you have a lot of photos and you want to color grade them simultaneously, you can use this feature. Editing with Retouch for me is really a breeze. So that's it for today's video guys. What do you think about Retouch for me? As for me, I highly recommend it for professional photographers and retouchers who want to spend less time in editing, especially if you're editing in bulk. It's a huge time saver, and the results are really amazing. Click the link on the video description to try it for free, and if you decide to purchase any of the plugins, use my promo code ORTIS20 to get 20% off on your next purchase. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.